Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see examples related to operations of limits. Let us take an example here. Let us say we have a limit as, as follows. Limit of this function, limit of this function, x to the power of 4 minus 5x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 minus 7 minus 7 as x approaches as x approaches 2 so the way we can solve these types of uh, problems is as follows let us start with step number 1 in this step we're going to separate out each of these we can we can separate out these uh, into individual functions like this limit as x approaches 2 of x to the power of 4 plus or minus there's, there should be a negative sign here minus limit as x approaches 2 5 x to the power of 3 plus limit as x approaches 2 x to the power of 2 and then the last one is minus the limit as x approaches 2 the constant number 7 okay now all we have done here is we have taken the function happened happen to be a polynomial function and then we've split it up into smaller smaller pieces we wrote each one of them we wrote uh, we uh, wrote out this given limit as uh, as individual functions as individual functions and therefore we can now simplify we can now simplify this operation in here as a second step we're going to now substitute the values of x uh, as 2 in here so we, we're going to write this one as 2 to the power of 4 the, as the first one minus there is 5 times x cubed 5 is a constant number so we're going to put the constant number outside and then substitute the value of x as equal to 2 5 times 2 to the power of 3 like that plus there is wherever we see we have limit of x to the power of 2 as x approaches 2 so therefore we're going to substitute the value of x as equal to 2 raised to the power of 2 minus the limit of a constant is going to be that constant number itself so now as step number 3 we're going to simplify the math step number 3 we're going to simplify the math 2 to the power of 4 the, it is an exponent. The number of times the base needs to be repeated is given to us in the exponential term. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So instead of 2 to the power of 4, we're going to write it out as 16 minus 2 to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2 the number of times the base needs to be repeated is given to us in the exponential term therefore 2 to the power of 3 is going to be equal to 8 so 5 times 8 plus 2 to the power of 2 is 2 times 2 which is 4 minus 7 so we can come back and then simplify this some more we have 16 minus 5 times 8 is equal to 40 plus 7 minus plus 4 minus 7 so when we simplify this 16 minus 40 plus 4 minus 7 is going to give us a value equal to negative 27 like that so when we evaluated this limit uh, of uh, of this function x to the power of 4 minus 5x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 minus 7 as x approaches 2 the value came out as equal to negative 27 so this is the way we're going to perform operations with limits let's look at another example this time let us say we have a 
let's right, let me write this example here find the limits for the following things limit of this function x to the power of 2 plus 2x minus 3 as x approaches 2 we have a a polynomial a polynomial uh, expression has several uh, terms in it so if this is the polynomial we have and if we want to evaluate this limit as x approaches 2 we can follow the same steps as we followed for the previous example in step number one we're going to write them out as individual uh, limits individual functions limit of this first function x to the power of 2 as x approaches 2 plus the limit of uh, of this function 2x as x approaches 2 and then the third one is minus the limit of this constant value 3 as x approaches 2 so now we have uh, we have all the all uh, we have expanded it out in a proper manner as step number 2 we're going to come back and then simplify this or we're going to substitute the value of x as equal to 2 in here so for the first limit we're going to say 2 to the power of 2 plus for the second limit 2 times we're going to substitute the value of 2 which is like that minus the limit of a constant number is going to be that constant number itself so when we simplify it some more 2 to the power of 2 is 4 2 times 2 is 4 minus 3 so 4 plus 4 is 8 8 minus 3 is going to be equal to 5 so therefore when we evaluate this limit of this function x to the power of 2 plus 2x minus 3 as x approaches 2 the value of that limit is going to be equal to a positive 5 like that in my next presentation we shall see more examples on operations with limits